So I'm up in Beacon right now where I live and going for a walk and just wanted to talk about some of the pros and cons of living in Beacon. So the main thing about living up here in Beacon and in the Hudson Valley in general is just all the beautiful nature. I mean, it's just it's pretty pretty gorgeous. You know, when I go back down to New York City or you know, go visit my family in Texas or drive down through northern New Jersey, um I think it's pretty, you know, going through northern New Jersey. Honestly, if you've never been there, it's pretty lovely. There's some really great parks there. It's really natural, and people don't realize that. But one of the things people do love about moving up to the Hudson Valley are the parks. It's amazing. This is the trail from Dennings Point uh, to get back to Long Dock Park, which is, if you walk that way, you can find the train station, and you can find the ferry station in Beacon. One of the main things about living up here is just it's absolutely naturally beautiful. Different times of the year you get different things. In a few months we're gonna have uh, gorgeous um, the fall leaves are gonna start kicking in. It's gonna be gorgeous through here. The further I walk down the trail, I've stepped in some mud, the further I walk down the trail I'll be able to see the Hudson River and you can see Newburgh from over here which is really pretty. I always end up living opposite of something really beautiful. So the sunset is across the river from Beacon. So no matter where you are in Beacon, you get a beautiful view every day. You get the, the sun on the mountain, or you get the sun setting across the river, and it's like lighting up with all the clouds. So, But this is a more sparsely populated um, area of New York. So once you get up and out of Westchester and then, you know, basically once you get into Putnam County, you're pretty much in a very sparsely populated um, population zone, um, especially the further north you go between here and Albany. And if you go across the river and you're in Orange County and Ulster County, there just aren't a lot of people over there. So if you're thinking of moving up here, that's one of the negatives. If you want to be around a lot of people, there aren't a lot of people. If you want to be and have a more freedom to do your thing and not have people around, then this would be a great area for you. Back to pros and cons. So pros and cons of living in the Hudson Valley. So the first pro is the natural beauty is off the chart. It's just gorgeous. And if you're looking for nature and beautiful views, this is definitely the place for you. If you want to be in a more sparsely populated area, the Hudson Valley is a great place to come. Most of the towns around here are uh, 15,000 and under, maybe 30,000 up in Kingston, about the same up in Poughkeepsie. If you want to be in a more dense population area, you're going to want to live somewhere between Beacon and Poughkeepsie because that's on the west east side of the river. That's the most densely populated stretch. A lot more options for housing and schools. If you want to live in a college town, you can live in Poughkeepsie because it has Vassar and Marist, or you can move over to, or you can look at um, New Paltz, because New Paltz is a college town in the Hudson Valley, with SUNY New Paltz being a liberal, art, liberal arts school. Um, let me see, some of the negatives about living in the Hudson Valley, rent prices have gotten really high, so if you're looking at moving up here and getting a rental, rent prices are high. Average home price in some of these towns is $400,000 plus. And Beacon, it's like about 550 and 570 and higher. So the average home price for a single family detached home is pretty high. Average home price for like a town home lately is about 300,000 to between 250 and 300,000, depending on where you live. If you want to live in like a Toll Brothers town home, you're looking at four, three, four, five, six, seven hundred thousand dollars. And if you're looking for master planned communities, there just aren't a lot of master planned communities up here in the Hudson Valley. There's not a huge uh, bunch of builders coming in and throwing up, you know, communities of homes like they do in other parts of the country where they come. So that might be a pro for you, might be a con for you. Just depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for land, you can easily get land around, you know, half acre around your house is easy, a couple acres also, but you're going to be living a little bit further out. So. So those are some things to think about. All right, so some of the cons. If you want to shop at Trader Joe's in the Hudson Valley, it's not gonna happen. If you're looking for a Whole Foods or a Wegmans, definitely not gonna happen. Uh, grocery shopping in the Hudson Valley, you can have ShopRite, Stop and Shop, you have Hannaford's, 
you have Adams Fair Acre Market, which is the most similar thing to uh, Whole Foods. Um, there, but there's really the closest Trader Joe's that I go to, and I live in the mid Hudson Valley, and I'm right by I-84. Is if I want to go to Trader Joe's, I have to hop on 84 and head over to Connecticut, which is about a 35-minute drive for me, and it's the first or second exit once you get into Connecticut near Danbury. Um, there are a lot of specialty shops here. You get a lot of specialty cheese shops. You get tons of farmers markets. Food. Um, you have farm. Uh, farm stand delivery so if you're on a CSA where you get the vegetables throughout the summertime you can pick those up throughout the you know the season and that's always neat because you know you might pay 350 and get a weekly vegetable delivery so that's kind of cool but if you're looking for like you know traditional Trader Joe's or Wegmans or uh, something like that like the most if you're coming up here if you're moving to the Hudson Valley from Texas and you want an HEB we don't have an H-E-B up here, but uh, obviously you know that. And I guess the most similar thing would probably be a Wegmans, and we don't have a Wegmans. Uh, we have a Hannaford's, which would be somewhat similar. Those, you have a Hannaford's. You have quite a few Hannaford's. One of the pros about living in the Hudson Valley is the train. So, the train goes back and forth uh, all day uh, to Manhattan. So if you want to commute down to Manhattan for work, on the east side of the river, if you're from Poughkeepsie all the way down, you can take the MTA, the Metro North. And it's pretty cool because they'll take you right to Manhattan. Um, here's the train coming up. That could actually be the express train. Uh, there's one that leaves at 5.08 down from Grand Central and it's pretty awesome because it's the first stop is Beacon so you can hop on that and you don't have to stop until you get to Beacon so it's pretty nice to take that so yeah so transportation to and from Manhattan is nice on the trains you know you don't get a lot of that in other parts of the country um, but you get it here you can live out in the country and take the train in to the city so that's pretty cool you're probably wondering what houses like houses are like so in Beacon Beacon was a factory town. Uh, there were factories all along the Hudson River here. They used to make a lot of bricks. They made they made hats and buttons and all kinds of stuff for manufacturing. There was a huge manufacturing all up and down the Hudson River. Obviously, we didn't have factories. We didn't outsource stuff. So the outsourcing was up here, and then they would sell it and make things, obviously, in the city or in factories over in Pennsylvania. So it's, it was an industrial region, and so you had a lot of housing that was built to support the factory workers. So you have a lot of narrower houses. So you don't have row houses like the really thin shotgun houses, but you do have smaller, narrower houses. There might be two or three bedrooms upstairs, one bathroom upstairs, so maybe a half bath has been put in downstairs, but a lot of the houses are put built close to each other. Um, to save on obviously cost for the people who were building the houses back when the factories were here So that's what a lot of beacon is made up of houses like that um, Especially when you're buying a house around downtown area Around the main street area and, and some of the side streets and stuff a lot of the houses were built like that over the past 150 years um, so that's basically Beacon. I mean, Beacon isn't just that. I mean, there are some other styles of houses, obviously, in some of the communities. They've put in raised ranch houses, which are like split-level houses. There are some Victorian houses. Um, you have some capes and some brick homes, some cute little cottages. So it's, um, you know, it's kind of, that's pretty much a variety of houses. A lot of people I know either love the houses or they hate the houses, but they choose to live in the houses anyway because that's what you got and they want to live in Beacon. All right, so that's the house situation. You have a lot of row houses. You have, like I said, newer raised ranch with the vinyl siding. You have eh, a few a few newer communities in Beacon, but again, you don't have all these neighborhoods that go in. Um, it's definitely, if you're used to living in the South, you're not gonna see master plan communities with wide streets and, you know, double wide four and five car parked driveways with two car garages. You know, you're gonna have to adjust and you're just gonna have to say, you know, you wanna live up here because of all the other trade-offs and you might need, you might get a smaller house, you might get less house 
for more money than you would get down in the south. But what you're going to get up here is, um, <laughs> yeah, you're going to get a beautiful freaking walking trail. You're going to get a beautiful downtown. The Main Street, Main Street Beacon is awesome. All the little towns around here have really beautiful Main Streets. They're all charming in their own way. Um, driving out into the countryside is just mind-blowing. I mean, li literally mind-blowing, especially if you grow up somewhere like I did down in Dallas, the Dallas area, where it's incredibly flat. It's like 110 degrees right now, and um, trees are about the size of shrubs. And the fall is basically goes from green to brown, <laughs> and then everything dies. So, and then in the summer, everything dies. So, it's nice to be here in August, especially this year. We've had a ton and ton of rain, so it's really nice to be getting all the rain. Um, so yeah, so the pros of living up here, nature, uh, beauty, farmer's markets, all kinds of cool um, theater performances, art galleries. Like even out in where I live in Beacon, they have Dia, which is a neat art gallery. Um, some of the, the cons are houses might not be what you expect. I'm trying to share with you some of the things I love about it, some of the pros and cons of moving to Beacon, some of the pros and cons of the Hudson Valley. Uh, I don't know if you can see across the river there's Newburgh. So, so anyway, if you're thinking about buying or selling in the Hudson Valley in Beacon, New York, if you're looking to buy a house in Beacon, give me a call. I'm a real estate agent and I work out of Beacon, but I serve clients all over the Hudson Valley.